Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Thank you for joining me right here on the English Makes No Sense YouTube channel. It is I, S.L. Rockfish, your happy hostess. And today we're going to take a look at the phrasal verb put up. Yeah, put up. Five letters, two words, eight to nine different meanings, plus a saying that's sort of like put up. Why so many meanings? I don't know, because English is just that kind of language. If today's your first day of checking out this YouTube channel, thank you. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. If you're a return visitor, thanks for coming to men. Share it with your friends. If you like what you see and you want maybe need a little less time, I'm on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook at English Makes No Sense. Come on, you've put up with my plugs long enough. Let's get started. We're going to talk about the many meanings of the phrasal verb put up. Let's go. Put up means to build something. What? Yeah, put up. I'll show you. Let's put up a fence around the garden. We're going to build a fence around the garden. He put up the garage in two days. He built it in two days. Sometimes we say put up, sometimes we say built. But in this way, he put up the garage in two days. Bah, that's quick. Or they put up that house in just about a month. That's really fast for a house. But that's what we say when someone builds something. He put that up himself. He put up that house. Got it? Take a look. Practice if you want. Let's put up a fence around the garden. You say it. Excellent. He put up the garage in two days. He built it. They put up that house in just about a month. You could say put up or built. Got it? Now, put up also means let someone stay in your house or reside somewhere. Huh? Yeah. For example, I'll show you. I can put you up for a few nights, which means I can let you stay at my house for a few nights. I can put you up. We put her up in a hotel. We made a reservation. We let her stay at the hotel. We put her up in a hotel. When we go to visit, they will put us up in their house. Sometimes, like you see here, we say that put us up. We break it up. See, we have put you up, put her up, put us up. Where should we put you up? Oh, you can put me up in the hotel put up and we break it up with these pronouns. How about put up means to tolerate, allow. Yeah, tolerate, allow. For example, we cannot put up with so much noise. We cannot allow, we cannot permit so much noise. We say we cannot put up with so much noise. Or her parents don't put up with her missing school. They don't allow it. They don't permit it. They will not tolerate it. Her parents don't put up with her missing school. I can put up with a lot. I can tolerate a lot, but I cannot put up with lying. How's that? I can put up with a lot, but I cannot put up with lying. I cannot tolerate it. I cannot allow it. I cannot permit it. Put up to raise. What? Yeah, to raise. Now, you gotta stay with me on this one. Put up. Put up your hood and cover your head. So if I had a hoodie, put up your hood and cover your head. Put up the window in the car. It is raining out. So now we put up the window. 
We raise the window, we make it go up. We raise the window so the rain doesn't go in our car. I can put up the windows in my house when it gets hot outside. I put up the windows to let the fresh air in. Or we put up a sign, we raise the sign to tell everyone the store was open. We put it up, open, we put up a sign. Now, put up means to suggest that someone should be elected to a particular position. Yeah, it's a little political. Let's take a look. Each party put up their best candidate. They said, here, this is my candidate. They put them up. Now, the council could only put up two people for the job. They could only suggest or put uh, forward two people for the job. And then she was put up to run against the establishment. She was put up to run against the establishment. They, they chose her and thought she'd be the one. So they brought her forward and think to have her elected. That's how we say it. we put up. Like the Democrats put up Joe Biden to win. The Republicans put up Donald Trump to win. See, put up. Put up to raise your arm to show you want to ask or answer a question or to be counted. Put up your hands if you want to choose the show tonight. Put up in class we go, I do, I do. To put up, to raise your arm to show that you want to ask or answer a question or to be counted. All in favor, say aye. We put up our hands. She put up her hand to be called on by the teacher. Pick me, pick me. Everyone put up their hands to be counted. Think of when the police go, put your hands up. Put up your hands. Put your hands where I can see them. Put them up. When he knew the answer, he put up his hand. I know, I know, he put up his hand. Got it? That's a lot of put ups, isn't it? Who knew? Now, put up also means to provide a large amount of money for something. What? Yeah, when you put forth a lot of money, you put it up. They put up a lot of money for the new house. They gave it to the bank. They put it up a lot of money. The town put up a lot of money to get the business. They put it forward. They put it a large and they're like, here, take the money. They put up the money. She put up her life savings to help her son's dream come true. She gave, she provided her son her life savings. She put up the money. That's a common saying. Hey, did you put up the money? Who put up the money? I put up the money. I've never put up the money for a big item. But that's what we say. Put up the money or put something up if it has to do with money why does it have to do with money i don't know that's just what we say we also say for boxing put them up put them up come on when fighting don't fight that's not on here all right next we got put up to fix a shelf or cupboard onto a wall yeah we're going to put up a bookshelf we're going to put up a cupboard I put up a bulletin board back here. I put it up. It's hanging on the wall. I'll show you. We put up a bookshelf. I put a few books on the shelf. Oh, I should edit that. Let me get my pen. I put a few books. Sorry, books on the shelf. The power of uh, editing on the fly. And now our last one. We put up a few pictures on the wall. Yeah, I put up the pictures. I put up a map. I put up a bulletin board. We put up things on the wall. Got it? I know, another put up. Why do we use put up so many different ways? Who knows? We really like the words put up. Now, let's review the definitions for put up. Are you ready? We have one 
Put up means to build something. We're going to put up a fence around the yard. Put it up to build something. To let someone stay in your house or reside somewhere. Hey, if you come to Wisconsin, let me put you up. And we break it with the, the uh, pronoun in the middle. Can you put me up? Hey, where, what, where are we going to be put up? To tolerate, allow. Ooh, I can't put up with so much noise. To raise, put up your hands. Everyone who wants to go out for pizza, put up your hands. To suggest that someone should be elected to a particular position. The Democrats put up Joe Biden. The Republicans put up Donald Trump. See? Put up. And whatever political party has a candidate, they put up a candidate. Or to provide a large amount of money for something. Well, we got to put up a lot of money to buy that house. Or to raise your arm to show you want to ask a question or answer a question to be counted. Hey, pick me. Hey, teacher, can I tell you? Put You put up your arm, okay? You put it up. Or we also have, there it is, to raise again. To put up, to raise your arm. Or to put up a sign. There's that other raise. Raise right here. Let me give my little laser here. This to raise right here to uh, put up a sign. I'm going to put up a sign. Hey, we're open. Got it. And then to raise your arm. Put up your hands if you want pizza. Got it. Let me unlaser. Okay. Or to provide a large amount of money for something. And I put that on there twice, so it must be important. Look at that. Put up, put up, put up. Got it. Why so many put ups? It's English. We just have a lot of uses for some of this. We must just love words like put up, put them together. And that's what we do. We just bring them together. And we love them. Why? I don't know. But I hope this helps you because it helped me. And see, look at this. I should have checked this, but I'm going to make it anyway. These two are the same. To provide a large amount of money for something and to provide a large amount of money for something. Hmm. Apparently, I had money on my mind. Okay. Now, to fix a shelf or cupboard onto a wall. I'm going to put up a bookshelf. I really do need a bookshelf, but to put up a bookshelf, put up some pictures, okay? Hang them on the walls, put them up. Now, but wait, there's more. Here's a saying we use a lot. We say, put up or shut up. That's kind of rude, but put up or shut up is an informal saying, letting someone know they should deal with a problem or stop talking about it. Like, it was time to put up or shut up. It was time to either get it done or be quiet. He kept saying he could do the job better. So I told him, put up or shut up. And then we have, he better put up or shut up. We are tired of his talking about it. So we say it a lot of times when we're just tired of someone saying, like, we're just, oh, no more. Put up or shut up. Either fix it, do it or be quiet. That's kind of a rude saying, but it's used a lot, and you will see it in movies and on television. You're going to put up or shut up, friend. It's go time. See? That's how we use it. I just want to say thank you so much. Let me know what you think about this lesson. What would you like to see more of? If you wanted some cool English makes no sense merchandise, you know. Or should I say merch? Click the link below. Here's my shameless plug, a little coffee cup. Oh, English makes no sense. T-shirts, English makes no sense. If you stayed with me this long, thank you so much. Let me know what you want to see or hear. Click the subscribe button down below. Join me or watch me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Thank you so much and have a great day. And remember, we have to put, don't put up with too much stuff. And there's so many different ways to use put up. Try it today. Try to use it two times today. See what happens. Go rewind. See what you like. Different ways to use put up. 
Why so many uses? I don't know. But now you can go use at least two of them. Thank you, friends. Bye. Peace, my friends.